Hey, socialites. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle blogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today is going to be another Platinum Blonde Pixie hair care video. I'm going to show y'all the three go-to hairstyles that I like to do on my Pixie, plus show y'all some new products that I've been using to keep my hair bright white. If you watched my um, Sephora hauls on the things that I got from the Sephora sale, I spoke about the Aura Bay products. This is the Aura Bay Bright Blonde Shampoo for beautiful color. And then I also got the Aura Bay Bright Blonde Conditioner as well. So you use these two together. It is that sort of bluish purpley color that really takes that yellow and brassiness out of the hair, which I always use one of those type of shampoos for my hair. So these are new for me. This is going to be my second time using it and I really liked it. It made my hair really soft. It made the color super vibrant. Um, one thing I'll say about the shampoo is this is definitely a second shampoo. So some of my blonding shampoos that are this color, it lathers really good on the first shampoo this is one that you need to shampoo your hair well first and then go in with this for your second shampoo because this Aura Bay blonding shampoo doesn't really lather up well on dirty hair so I'm gonna rinse my hair out really really well with cool water and then go in with my first shampoo I always like to use cool water when I do my hair because when your hair is this light, I tell you guys on all my blonde hair care videos that your hair is very fragile when it's this bright. So you always want to use cool water. I use cold water. I don't even cut on the warm. I just use straight cold water with my shampoo and conditioner. And I've been doing that for years, you guys. So now that my hair is completely wet, rinse it really well for about one to two minutes. I'm going in with the Purology Hydrate. This is a really good shampoo. I like to use this for my first shampoo. It lathers up so good. It's so creamy and gets the hair really clean. It's moisturizing at the same time as well. So once it has that really good lather, you want to just really get it in there and lather for about a minute or two. Make sure you use your fingertips on your scalp and not your nails. I can't stress enough, hair this light is very fragile. So if you're wondering why your hair is breaking or uneven and things like that with your blonde hair, those are the little things that makes a big difference. So use the fatty parts of your fingertips and not the actual nails because you could tear your hair that way. So once it's all lathered up, we're going to go ahead and rinse it out. Using cool water. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Aura Bay shampoo. I did get the small travel size just so I can try it out. I had never used their products prior to this sale. So as you can see, it's like that purplish violet blonding shampoo. So we're going to go in with this. And we're going to lather this up for like one minute you want to make sure it touches everything i can already see y'all like it just got super light and that's another way um to know if your hair um needs to be washed so i met this lady out <laughs> one day who saw my hair and her hair was blonde but it was like a honey type blonde and she was asking me about my hair which happens often when i go out people ask questions about my hair and she said her hair had been this color before and she said she stopped wearing it because it got so yellow so quick and you know it was interesting because you know me being a licensed stylist sometimes you just assume that people know certain things and you just assume that people know certain things and you know i'm like well if your hair turned yellow you know after a couple of days and it's a platinum blonde that just means it's dirty and needs to be washed and you should use like a, a violet colored shampoo to really cancel out some of that yellow and some of that brassiness. So she didn't know. So one thing about platinum blonde hair is every little thing that touches it, you will see it. So if you have brown, brown hair or if you have black hair, when you're out in the elements, there's constantly things touching, grabbing and attaching itself when you're out in the elements to your hair. But obviously, because your hair is darker, you can't see it. When your hair is blonde, you see every little thing. So after about two, three days, definitely at that four day mark, your hair is not as bright white 
as it was when you first shampooed it and that just means your hair is dirty and it's time to be shampooed again that's it you know what i mean so that's how you know your hair needs to be shampooed when it's when it starts to turn a little yellowish or off white it's time for you to shampoo your hair so it's no need to fret it's just dirty that's all so i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out with cool water okay y'all so now we are icy this is very much icy <laughs> so now i'm going in with the uh Ora Bay bright blonde conditioner now this conditioner it's also like a one of those violet type conditioners but it kind of goes on not as violet -y as the shampoo does you see this is more of a faint violet but it just helps it you know to just look really bright and it leaves your hair really really soft so i like to pack this on and i let this one sit for about five minutes so if you want to put a plastic cap on you can um but you don't have to you could just leave this on for about five minutes like i said and then rinse off with cool water Okay, so it's been five minutes, so I'm about to rinse thoroughly with cool water. Now, this is the conditioner. It's the last rinse. So when I say thoroughly, I mean like three minutes straight. Set your timer. You want to really, 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 really rinse, rinse, rinse. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Super important. So cool water, rinse thoroughly for about two to three minutes. Okay, y'all. So we are all rinsed out. And look at this color yeah yeah this is a really good shampoo and conditioner i'm glad i ordered it it was like a blind buy i had never heard of it before never seen any reviews but i just saw blonding as i was flipping through the sephora website and i thought hey the sale is coming up let me try a travel size and it worked out so great um so this is the retkin at acidic perfecting concentrate this is a leave-in treatment i like to go in with this and i use about this much so as you can see it's like clear and i put this all over and especially on my edges but you want to put this all over and it's like a leave-in okay so i'm going to show y'all the three ways that i like to style my hair um it's just really quick nothing too crazy but um one way is when my black roots start to come in like now it's been i think i'm on week three with my hair and as you can see, or going on week three, my roots are starting to come in. So when my roots start to come in, I like to style it like with a part. Sometimes just so you can see that contrast. And I just comb it just like this. I put my foam on there and then I tie it down. And I'm going to show you guys how I tied it down, but I'll have links in the description box to my other blonde hair care videos where I show you guys how I mold and tie my hair down, how I wrap it before I sit under the dryer. But it's just basically just like this. Nothing too crazy, just really simple and chic. I put my um, foam on here and just comb it down all the way around. Another way I like to style it is put waves at the front. So, and then keep the rest straight. So basically something like this, but I do it a little bit neater. And then the rest is just straight. And then the last way I like to do it is to hide the part. So basically what you do is, it's like you have a part, but you don't. So you just kinda comb it over and you don't really have a defined part so instead of like seeing the part it's like hidden so you just kind of brush the hair or comb the hair in a way where you don't really have a defined part and this is cool too like if your roots are growing in and you're somebody who does who likes to hide your roots this is a really good way to hide your roots which is just to basically comb over where the part would normally be and then the rest is just straight as well. And it's 
just straight. And another way, which is honestly a way that I never do my hair, is to wave your whole entire head, meaning like do your waves, but instead of leaving the back straight, how I leave the back straight, you literally wave your whole entire head even at the back. I can't see it. But, and that's another thing, since I can't see the back of my head, I'm not really a fan of waving my whole entire head. Um, but this is something similar to probably how it looks, y'all. Um, I don't know what it looks like. It's probably a mess, but just something similar to this. But if I was to do that, I would take two mirrors and really take my time to get it neat. But because I don't have that type of patience, I never do that. I usually just wave my front of my hairline. Okay, so since I've been wearing my hair straight like the past week or so, we're going to do the waves on the front. So we're going to comb it down. And this is not Design Essentials foam. I just have it in here. I just have it in here and it's a different foam in here. So I'll have a link in the description box, the actual foam that I use on my hair. And it definitely has a good amount of hold. Not hard like gel, but it has a good amount of hold. It's a flexible hold and it still allows your hair to be soft, but with hold at the same time. So I'm gonna put the foam on like that. all around and then we're going to wave the front and everything else will be straight 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 So just like this, now we're going to tie it down with our wrapping strips. And this is it, you guys. So I'm going to go sit under the hairdryer for 45 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes and my hair is completely dry, as you can see. So now I'm going in with my Perfection Platinum Protect Oil. And I use about that much. Keep in mind when you have platinum blonde hair, the more oil, the better. This is when you do not worry about it being too heavy or whatever. The heavier, the better. You need all the oil you can get when you have hair this bright because hair this bright is super dry. 
So I'm just gonna take my comb and you wanna comb it out. That way you don't see those lines and separations. You just wanna kinda comb it out so it'll look more natural and you don't want it to look plastered down. So you just comb that out. And this is like one of those styles where the next day it looks even better. It's like 11 o'clock at night. So you want to make sure you tie your hair down with a satin scarf. And then when you wake up in the morning, it's going to look even better. But this is it. And that satin scarf is really gonna hold in a lot of that moisture and it's gonna be even shinier and it's gonna look a little bit more natural as far as the way it's laying. It's not gonna look like you finger waved it, it's gonna look like more so like a natural wave. Tie it down. So that's it. I will have everything listed down below in the description box. So make sure you check that out. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. I don't have the answers